mostly on the day of resurrection and the day of qiyamah, those people who will regret the most, the Qur'an explains to us, Allah's kitab tells us, it stated that those people will be mostly uh, involved in the regret, those who very slightly or minimally took the advice of Allah and His Rasul Wasallam. Most of the people with regret will be in that section. In that sector, very slightly we take the words of Allah and Rasul and oh, it's okay, we'll see how it goes. When Qiyamah comes, we'll see what happens. And the shaitan and nafs, they make us so blind to reality that the person, when he uh, hears the good advice or the direction instruction, we don't pay attention to who is saying this, whose kalam is this, who is telling us this. In other words, can there be anything worse than this? That, that, that Allah is telling us something, or Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling us something. We don't take the instructions, the advice, the Quran and the Hadith are here. Was sent, accepts that action. So the first intention we need to make is what? What did I say? What is the intention? That we will not take anything slightly or casually or ignore good uh, advice. If it's a worldly piece of advice, we won't ignore it because I could get lost. And with regards to hereafter, if Allah and His Rasul are advising us, then the question doesn't arise that a person should be lazy, neglectful, and ignorant when it's easy to follow the instructions of Allah and His Rasul. Now let's see what is the message. So let's make near that inshallah we will not listen to this message ignorantly, casually, but we will listen. Seriously, are we already? Inshallah. Shall I deliver the message? Okay. So first I clean the soil. I clean the dust and I'm taking the diamonds out from within the soil and the dust. So this is the hal now. Let's wipe away. I'm speaking about that time we'll be standing on the day of resurrection. Today we're getting the cure so we can get the success on that day. And there's not some normal person, Mufti Sahib, Alim Sahib, Muhaddith, who is this Imam Bulambiya, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi who's given us this guidance. Rahmatul lil alameen, who's telling us this. Whose mission was that I want to save every individual from my ummah, of my ummah from Jahannam. In such a beautiful method he's given to us. And Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu said that this hadith I've just read, what is Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu teaching us? That Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man qawmi what is this message? What is Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam telling us? I will recite this hadith further. What did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? Oh, Anas, tell the people that until Qiyamah, explain to the people what? That those people, subhanAllah, whichever person, man, woman, group of people, from any uh, group of people, if creed, color, race, if they gather together, like you are gathered, aren't you? Aren't you? Whichever qawm, nation, people, whichever individual, if people are gathered together, and they gather and together and do dhikr of Allah, yathkurullah, say subhanallah again. And again say subhanallah, subhanallah. Look at this. So here now is coming the nasiha. So we say, no, no, I've done dhikr. No, Allah, Nabi Sallallahu said, no, this is not the point. So easy a formula Allah, Nabi Sallallahu has given to us that you are going to gather together and after you gather together, you are going to do the dhikr of Allah. And be careful and cautious, subhanAllah, that Allah Ta'ala will give this to you and do this for you and give His na'mah to you. Look at this point. No government, if a government does it or not, if a committee does it or not, if a man gives to you or not, if somebody who promises gives to you or not, but from Allah, Allah Ta'ala says, I've prepared for you the solution. But we will go to such a country, it's difficult to live there, there are people who haven't got iman there. Allah says, forget that. Whichever corner of the world a mu'min reaches to, this preparation will be made for him, Allah Ta'ala says. That's how easy it is. Why? What will happen there? Okay, we've done thicker. What is the road? Allah says, forget the reward. Forget the reward. Allah Ta'ala says that you'll be amazed and shocked that what is the reward for this, this deed that you are performing. Allah Ta'ala says that you will be amazed, the biggest reward you will get for this is that the objective of your life which will give you success on the day of resurrection is what? That when a group of people gather together and do the dhikr of Allah, then one angel on the heavens and the skies will announce and that angel's strength and power will be such that his whole, the whole world will hear his announcement, the dead, the fish, the birds, the trees. No, not just here on earth. Everything in the universe, the dhakirin will be introduced by this angel. We're sat here. We're sat here. And our message will reach to where? Saudi Arabia, India, Malaysia, China. 
We don't even know, we've never seen. And here the message is, yes, not just to mankind, but the fishes, the fish in the sea, in the oceans, in those remote areas will hear and understand. By chance, if this gathering for who has been announced, if he goes to China, then those fish will, will, uh, intru- will welcome that person. Ah, that this is that man who's come, that man who's come near to me, who we praise that day. And what is the job? That we, Allah Ta'ala has taken us from a home, sat us down in a warm masjid. Did it take a lot of energy? We came in cars. Did we sit on a camel? Did we sit on a donkey? Did we walk here? Did we eat and drink? Did we fill our stomachs? We came, we, we ate, we walked here with ease and comfort. We had good clothes. And we adorned ourselves with nice clothes. Alhamdulillah, it's warm here. This is the name of Allah. We didn't have hardship coming here. We applied the fragrance, eating, drinking, wearing good clothes. Allah Ta'ala is giving. But Allah Ta'ala says, I'm giving you all of this. These are such people who are not wasting this great opportunity of giving them. They are fulfilling the haq of my name. Al-Jazawul Ihsan. Allah says, Ila Ihsan. That I favored them. And they're repaying their favor. They are remembering, Allah Ta'ala says me. So Allah Ta'ala says, they're not repaying, but they appreciate the favor. They're not doing acts of crime or banditry or wrong actions or wasteful talk or wasting their time. No. Allah Ta'ala says that the preparation I've made, they have changed the direction of their cars. Let's go to Makki Masjid today, Makki Masjid today, or this Masjid to do the uh, dhikr of Allah. Is this not happened today? Look at this. So then, what happens after that? So then what did the angel say after that? That who is telling us this, who is advising this, this commentary that's been given, who is explaining this? Nabi al Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us this. So then, the announcement is made by that angel. Can there be a person here who doesn't believe in this? Once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is told, so the angel calls out, Where? Where? You've just said, and you had so much yaqeen that a person sees with his eyes and can reject. But whatever Rasulullah sallallahu said from his blessed statement, we will never reject. This is how strong our iman is, alhamdulillah. So he stated, the angel calls out in the skies and heavens. What does he say? The first reward that person, for example, who's ignorant, who casually ignores on the day of judgment, Hashar, he will be dragged towards the fire of Jahannam. He will be shackled by the chains and dragged. Why? Because he took this hadith casually, he ignored, he neglected the reward. And that's the reward we get now. What reward are we talking about? The first reward, subhanAllah, the angel says, Oh people, Allah Ta'ala has forgiven you, those dhakirin who gather to do the dhikr of Allah. Allah has forgiven you. That's the first message. What a great reward. What a great reward. Allah has forgiven. Then, the second reward, not just forgiven, but what happens after that? Allah Ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala has not just forgiven you, but all the dirt and impurities that were stuck to you, Allah Ta'ala has transformed them into good deeds. Allah has given a reward on top of that. Allahu Akbar.